Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. Together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too, we merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand, who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven, like a sound of rushing water, or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists 
playing their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the 144,000 who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hard hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Please stand. For you do not know when the Son of Man will come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury, and he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest, for those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we celebrate the memorial of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is an our affirmation of our tradition to honor her pure and constant faith. Its origin, my dear brothers and sisters, from the source of Proto-Evangelion, or from the book of James during 2nd century, Pope Sextus V placed the celebration 16th century, whereas Blessed Virgin Mary was always in the presence of God. Yesterday, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrated the conclusion Sunday of our liturgical year, the Christ the King, the final week, 
that means for all of us the end of our journey. Our journey is about to end. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, there is an ending of our journey here on earth. But we are reminded to be with Him in His kingdom. We are always looking for His kingdom throughout our journey in our earthly pilgrimage. And today, in our responsible psalms, may our voice, may our cry, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Truly, my dear brothers and sisters, this is our prayer. We are gathered around the table of the Lord. We want to see Him. We want to experience Him. And ultimately, let be our priority in our life so that we can present ourselves to Him. If we are praying this, my dear brothers and sisters, truly, our journey will not end. There is a life everlasting that awaits for all of us. In our gospel today, we are given an example on how to present ourselves to God. The poor widow shows in a concrete action on how to prioritize God by putting her offerings from her poverty has offered her whole livelihood. The widow, my dear brothers and sisters, is truly amazing. He, was, he has minimal amount, and yet, without hesitation, she gives all that she possess. In this action, my dear brothers and sisters, we are reminded of the great love of the widow for God. She believed on the power of the great love for her. That is, her full dependency on God make her life at peace. She did not think probably her everyday, everyday needs. The widow sees her possession as the way to give us a whole, not in partial because she firmly believed in the goodness of God. She trusted God's providence. And now, mother, brothers and sisters, let us ask ourselves, can we do the same like the widow in our gospel today? What would be our answer? Perhaps, mother, brothers and sisters, we are in trouble. Kasi po, sa buhay ng tao, sa buhay po natin, takot po tayong mawalan, takot tayong mabawasan, palagi tayong tumatanggap, pero ayaw natin itong pakawalan. And this is a challenge for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our challenge today. Are we ready to give our possessions before the Lord. Remember, we are all stewards of God's goodness here on earth. That is why the widow in our gospel today invites us to imitate or to learn about put our lives in the hands of God. Let us imitate the action of the widow. Let us give to the fullest Give what is the best. Give what is important to you. My dear brothers and sisters, everything that God gives you are all important. Therefore, give it or to share it to others because it is also important to them. Amen. Please stand.
My dear brothers and sisters, today, as we commemorate the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let us ask the Father to grant us the generosity of heart in consecrating our life to God. And every petition we say, Lord, transform us to be like Mary, our mother. Lord, transform us to be like Mary, our mother. That the Church may offer as a fitting offering to God the services of men and women. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord transform, transform us to, to be, be like, like Mary, Mary, our mother. That all those who believe in Christ may listen to the voice of God, who calls each one to be holy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord transform, transform us to, to be, be like, like Mary, Mary, our mother. That the example of Mary may shine through the life of consecrated persons. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord transform, transform us to be like Mary, our mother. That Christ's presence may be felt by the sick and those who suffer through our comforting presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, transform, transform us to be like Mary, our mother. That the dead may offer a worthy sacrifice through our righteous life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord transform, transform us to be like Mary, our mother. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Lord, grant that we, like Mary, may we say yes to your will and to fulfill it in our lives. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds and exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you give us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you have poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are blessed worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be God and to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, and accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that we who devotedly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in charity of heaven, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, reaching the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and become happily to eternal life. Amen. And Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.